Hi, Lorna. How's the progress of construction over there? I'm eager to move into the new house as soon as humanly possible. It seems like they're almost done, I would estimate. Just give the contractors a few more days and they'll have that new house finished for us. Really? That's impressive. They've been working very fast. It hasn't even been a full month since they started to build the house, has it? Well, you've been constantly nagging me to get the house done ASAP. So I've been in touch with the construction company and urging them to speed up the process. I see. So even you, who's nothing but a burden to me, can occasionally be of some use? We'll be putting that old house on the market. You're okay with that, right? And that means you'll never have to set foot in that old dump again. I have no intention of going back to the old house ever again, but I do think we should hold off on selling it for a while. I think, even after we move out, we should still give ourselves some time to settle into the new house and get everything we need from the old one. But we'll be losing money by keeping the house longer. I wanted the place sold yesterday if I could. If that's what you really want, Mom, then I won't stand in your way. But let's just wait until we're safely moved into this new place before getting rid of that house. How dare you talk to me like that, young lady? Do you think you have the authority to tell your mom what to do? Wait, I wasn't telling you what to do. I was just giving you my opinion, that's all. Hoping that it might be helpful. The situation with selling the old house is not that simple. Do you even realize that the work you do full time is that of a janitor? Someone who works such a lowly job as that should not be offering me any advice on the matter. Here we go again with you insulting me like that. The only reason I became a janitor in the first place is to support you. After we lost dad a while back, it was a hard time for you then, and I thought it was the right thing to do as your daughter. At the time, the only job that was available was that of a janitor, so that's the one I took. I need any bit of support then, but I'm finally about to have a brand new house built for me to live in. I'm astonished that you, of all people, are able to afford the land and a house with the kind of work you're still doing. I'm glad to see you're doing something for me this time. Finally gonna give me the help I've deserved. Well, as long as you're happy to be getting a new house, I'm happy too. From what I've heard, by the end of the week, the house should be ready to go. I'm really excited about it. Devin, is it really true what mom was saying to me earlier? Or was she just trying to upset me? What was she saying to you, Lorena? She said that you were planning to move in and live with her in the new house. You didn't mean that as a whole family all living in the house together, did you? You meant that it would be just you and your family with mom, right? Well, of course. That's what I meant, Lorena. Don't be silly. Mom has no reason to want to live together with you in that brand new house. She can't stand you and neither can I. She despises every little bit of you and I don't blame her for that. Despise me? How can you say that, Devin? How can you find it okay for her to look down on me like that? I'm your sister, after all. Well, you may be my sister, but you're not my friend. She's looked down on you for the longest time now, and so have I. But I have to admit that I'm grateful to you. Because if it weren't for all the work you've put in, I wouldn't be able to move into a newly built house with my mom. And I hear that there's a separate house being built as well, just for you. A separate house? Did you really hear about everything from her? You do realize that all you paid for regarding this house was the land, right? The rest of the money came from me. I'm so glad I took out a loan for that. It was a smart move. Now, I'll be able to be back in the same house as her. And we can be one big happy family again. Of course, you're not going to be a part of that, right? You'll be living in your own separate house, away from us. <laughs> I see, Devin. You don't seem to understand any of what's going on with this new place then. Well, so be it. Mom happens to love you with all her heart, so it'll be perfect for you to come and live with her again. I really hope you guys are able to live happily together again somewhere, of course. Somewhere far away from me. Well, well, well. I can see that the house is finally complete now. Both Devin and I came to see the place for ourselves yesterday. It's a bit smaller than what the two of us were expecting, but still nice. Oh, well, now you can leave the rest of the moving process to us, right? You don't have to worry about anything else. What? What are you talking about, Mom? And wait a minute. Why have you and Devin gone to see the new house without me already? Why didn't you invite me to come along? 
Oh, did we forget to tell you about this before? I'm sorry, Lorna, but I've made up my mind that I'll be living in this house together with Devin and his wife. They're going to move in with me soon. What? What do you mean by that, Mom? Lorna, I never planned on living together with you inside this brand new house you built for me. I appreciate your effort, but I want you to continue paying off the loan on this place. And then after you've done that, you can go find a home of your own to live in. Somewhere far away from me. So wait, does this mean that this whole time you've been using me to get that house built for you, but never intended on actually letting me move in with you there? You've been lying to me all along? Well, you should have seen this coming, right? Why do I have to let you come and live in my new house with me? I've gotten what I wanted from you now, so there's no more use for you. Now you and that low-level job you work can leave me for good. You don't belong here. So you had me pay for that whole house for you just to say something like that to me on the day we should both be moving in there? How could you do this to me, Mom? You should have known something like this was coming, considering you're working such an awful job. Why are you so shocked by what I'm saying now? Did you actually think someone that works as a janitor could move into a newly built home? Lorna, you're not like the rest of my family, and I don't consider you one of us. You're more like a stranger to me. I have been working as a janitor in order to give you a new house and support a more relaxed life for you. That's why this whole time I've been working so hard with those contractors to have the house built. You've known about how much I've been saving up for this house, right? How many years it's taken me to make this happen? And you did a fine job beyond my expectations. But I never once said you'd be allowed to come in and live in this new house with me, right? I've always wanted to have my wonderful son and his lovely wife move in here with me. Those two will be able to give me my grandchildren as well, right? That'll lead to a life where every day is so full of joy for us. <laughs> what? So it's for that reason that you're going to discard me now? Just because I can't give you grandchildren? Of course it is. I'm afraid that when you start needing money from us, you're going to cling on to us like some kind of parasite and never let go. So in order to avoid that possibility, I'm going to make sure we get rid of you right now. Get rid of me? What is wrong with you, Mom? But yeah, whatever. I guess I understand how things are going to be now. I can finally see what's been going on inside that head of yours. You must have always thought of me as some fool that you could manipulate, huh? I never said you were a fool, but you might be onto something there. Now I will thank you this one time for getting me a new house to live in with my handsome son and his beautiful wife. But I do want this house to only be for myself and his family. So you're going to have to stay away. All right then. I'll get out of here right away. And never come back to the house again. That won't be a problem at all for me. I'm going to follow through with what you've asked for me and leave this place forever. Although I'm not really leaving the place because I never moved in to start with. So I'll make sure I don't have my things taken over there. But now that I feel pretty heartbroken by what's all happened here, I wonder if it'll be alright to just demolish that place. You know, that newly built house. Huh? What are you saying, Lorna? Have you lost your mind? Now stop talking about such a foolish and destructive thing. How about instead of going insane and throwing your life away, you go out and get yourself a decent and respectable job? I have every right to tear down that house, don't I? It's the house I had built with my own money and effort after all. If you really think you have the power to do such a thing, then go ahead and try it. But you'll only end up realizing that your word has no weight in this world and that nobody's going to pay attention to you. This is our house, after all. And once I've told Devin and his wife about how you're not welcome here anymore, they'll be so happy. This is all so wonderful, isn't it? You were able to come spend all your life savings to make sure that me and my family are comfortable. Well, since you don't seem to care about what I do, I'll be there tomorrow to have the house demolished. I hope you'll be excited to see it. What are you planning on doing? Lorna, why would you start doing something like that? Are you completely screwed in the head or something? To actually come here and start tearing down my home? Did you ever think that I'd actually show up here with the bulldozer and start having the house plowed down? How does it feel now to have the brand new house you wanted to call home fall into ruin in the blink of an eye? 
I made sure to warn you, and everything even. Warn me? I never once thought that you'd seriously be coming over here to destroy my house. To see the house that I had just started moving into to be crushed into piles of broken walls and frames. And as a side note, I made sure to finish all of the work of having Devon hand me the duty of paying off the loans on the house and land before the place was completed. What? I'm glad he and I worked on getting all of that done days in advance. I had this feeling before, actually starting the construction of the place, that you tried to backstab me at some point. So I'm glad I talked with Devin about all of this before the house was completed. You were talking with Devin all this time? What do you mean? You just torn down a friggin' house right in front of my eyes. Do you not realize what you've done is completely mental? The only thing that seems mental to me is the fact that you planned on kicking the owner of the house out right after having the place built and instead have her brother and his wife move in with you. That's pretty messed up if you ask me. So don't start getting upset with me when you were the one who wanted to do crazy things that way from the start. What about what I did was mental? I just wanted to have Devin and his wife live with me to make things right. I don't feel comfortable living with someone who works a job like you're working. You would have never been able to care for me in my old age like him and his wife can, right? Oh, well, did you know that Devin is making a whole lot less than I am right now? What? That's why I was able to pay off that loan so easily for the house. After talking with Devin a little bit about what was going on with the new house, he told me it would be him and his wife moving into it with you and not me. So before the house was completed, I made sure that things like the loan for the house would be handled by me instead of him and that the name on the place stayed mine. Are you surprised by all of this? So you're telling me that you paid for the house and everything? And even though you were the one who bought it all, you chose to destroy it? Do you think that doing something like that is even remotely okay? You were the one asking me to go right ahead and try it, though. I was. What was I asking you to try? You said that if I thought I could tear down the house to go ahead and try it. So that's why I went ahead and gave it all a try. Did I not hear you right or something when you said all that to me? Of course you didn't hear me correctly. And now you've really gone and done it. Why would you do something like this to me? Where are you going to be living now? Well, you were never going to be living in that new house with me, actually. Huh? But the house was just finished being built. We already had started getting things ready to move in. Mom, do you really think that a house like that can be built so easily in one month? Both you and Devin don't seem to have any common sense. What are you talking about? What are you trying to say about the two of us? The only thing that Devin ended up buying was the land for the house. What? And the only thing I ended up putting on that land was a prefabricated home. Had you actually planned on having the whole family, including me, be moving into a new house on that land, I would have had a proper house built to hold everyone in it comfortably. Hold on a second. I'm really not sure what you're getting at here. But after hearing from Devin that you only planned on having him and his wife move in with you and you were going to kick me out... Well, I made up a plan to turn the tables on both of you. I thought that just having a big prefab house built on the land would convince you both, and it wouldn't cost me all that much money to do. And since I was the one that paid for it, I'm the one who has the right to tear it apart, right? I don't think you should be tearing something apart like that, though. So you're trying to tell me that the house that you built wasn't meant for anyone to live in? The inside of that place was completely empty, right? There was no way anyone would be living in that house just yet. But of course, you guys thought all of that would work, right? And that's why you started to get ready to move in, right? And with what you told me yesterday, I was able to confirm that you were, in fact, not going to let me live there with you guys, and that I'd be forced to go out and buy my own house thereafter. So you're telling me that this was all a trap for me? You set me up for this? You're messed up for setting me up like that. I'm your mother, aren't I? What kind of nerves do you have to be lying to your mother like that? And setting her up to lose the house she's been waiting for. What was that? I believe it should be me asking you that instead of the other way around. 
Who was it that lied to me about us both moving into that house together? All while talking down to me because of the job I've been working. Let me ask you one other thing. Do you consider yourself a good mother for doing something like that to your own daughter? I'm your mother, so I'm allowed to do whatever I want with you. I see. That's quite the opinion you have there. But I guess I don't really care about what you think. I've chosen to cut ties to all of you after what's happened here. And you seem to have been wanting that exact same thing. So don't worry, as you are no longer family to me. Is that going to work for you? That's 100% okay with me. You're not my daughter anymore and never ever will be again. And that's because you just went and destroyed my dream home. That was your dream home? I guess not all of us happen to have the same expectations when it comes to homes then. <laughs> it wasn't even a house at all though. Really, it was just a prefab that I had placed on the land to test and see what you and Devin would really have been up to. Of course, had you actually both gone ahead and made it look like you'd actually allow all of us to live in that house, then I was going to go ahead and build the house up properly. That prefab could have been used, and I could have had the contractors that I hired put in some real work to turn the place into an actual home. But the moment I told you the place was finished... You turned on me and said I was not to come live there with you guys. After hearing that from you, I knew what I had to do. What do you mean you knew what you had to do after hearing from me? After hearing that, I knew that you and I couldn't make it work anymore. You think of me as nothing more than a stranger. And now I feel the same about you. And who cares about any of that now? It's over with. If you want to leave me and Devin behind forever, then go ahead and do so. But once you've left us... What are we going to do about a house? What do you mean? I've already gone and sold the old house. It's in the hands of the realtors now. And all I have left to do is clean the rest of my things out of it. Where am I going to live now? Well, before that house is completely sold by the realtors, you better find yourself a new house and fast. <laughs> Go ask your favorite child to help you out with all of that as well. Actually, you've already gone and bought some land now, so why not build a place there? That's, of course, after you guys take out some loans to do so for the place. I was able to afford a prefab, no problem. So, why not start with something like that? Why is someone like you who works as a janitor able to afford more than Devin can? There's something wrong with all of that. You're working one of the lowest jobs on the planet. Say whatever you like about the work I do. You have to remember that in Devin's case, he left his old job after getting married and used whatever money he had to pay for the wedding. And it's only been two years since then, and he's just gone now from being a contractor for the new company he's at to working as a full-time employee there. He's already taken out a loan to pay for the land that the house was going to be built on. So, until he pays that off, don't expect much money to come from him. But unlike him in that situation... I've been working for 10 years now. Did you know that? What? It's been that long now? I've been the one taking my career very seriously. Even with you making fun of my job as a janitor. But of course, I'm the one running the company that supplies janitors to companies. So it's not like I'm the one doing all of the dirty work. I happen to be a leader, actually. And I'm the one that makes the calls on who's hired and who's not as well as gives input into where we have the company go next. I'm able to make a lot of money, actually, even though you keep believing that I'm working a low-level job. I have to say this job has been very good for me, and I've never had to worry about money for the last eight years. What? You're a janitor, but you don't clean or anything? Just because I'm working for a janitorial company, that does not mean I'm directly a janitor. Yes, I've worked there as one for a few years, but after that I started working in HR and moved up from there. I had no idea what was going on there. Are you trying to tell me that you're a regular office worker then? I wouldn't say regular. Like I said, I'm in charge of the HR department and have a say in a lot of things the company does. Just know that I'm probably making way more than Devin is and will ever make, most likely. I never knew about any of that. Why didn't you say anything like that to me sooner? Shouldn't I be able to tell things like that? Had I known about your real position in that company, 
I would have changed the way I talked and acted around you. I really don't care about how you talk and treat me, Mom. You've always loved Devin way more than me. And never once actually told me that you cared and loved me. It was very clear that you did not want to be bothered with me. So don't try and make it seem like you would have done so now had you known I had money. I know about how when I told you I'd be building a new house for us too, you immediately called Devin and started talking with him about having him come live with you. Why do you know about all of that? I never said a thing to you about what I've been talking about with Devin. You must have forgotten the most important thing about your son. That he's a complete imbecile. Right after you started talking to him about your plans, he turned to me and told me all about it. Bragging about it, actually. About how you always choose to be around him and never me because you despise me. That sort of thing. Devin did all of that? Had I never heard anything about that from him, I would have never known that you were going to use me and kick me out the moment the house was ready. And that's why you talked to him about paying for the house? Had I never heard a thing from Devin, I would have let him pay for the land and house and just help pay for the contractors and things like that. But after he told me everything, I said he could pay for the land with his loan and I'd take care of the house for him. And that's when I went out and bought that prefab to see how it would all turn out. Devin didn't even bother to question what I was doing there and just went along thinking it was all okay. He thought that me buying a prefab like that, instead of having a proper house being built, just meant that he was going to be getting a home for even cheaper. <laughs> so you played both of us. I did? I was never playing you guys. Your son just happens to be a complete idiot. I told him my plans for the house and instead of him questioning any of it, he just went on his merry way. And remember, I had tried to stop you from selling your old house so early, but you didn't care to listen to anything I was saying. I thought we'd be able to move into a new house, so of course I wanted my old place gone. Well, just know that I'm going to be all right after today. I went out and bought my own land and a house to have built on it. What? You did that without telling me anything? Without telling you? <laughs> I don't have to tell you anything about myself. I'm an adult now, and that all has to do with my life. I'm sure that without a place to live now, you and Devin and his wife are going to be left on the streets. But that's what you all deserve, right? Good luck with that, you freaking toxic idiots. In the end, Lorena decided to stop listening to anything that her mom and brother would say to her and focused all her energy on the new house she was having built in order to start her new life. She didn't care about what they thought of her anymore. However, for both her old mother and her stupid brother, they were both left with no place to live and had to move into an old, rundown apartment outside of town. It was a miserable place with no space, no comfort, and no dignity. Having to live in such a small and disgusting place together really began to take a toll on Devin's wife. And before long, she got fed up with him and moved out to find a better man for herself. She didn't want to waste her life with him anymore. This then led to both Devin and his mom getting into fights every single day. All while there was barely any income, making each day feel as though they were both living on the streets. They had no hope. No happiness and no future. I think that Lorena made the right choice in setting her mother up for a failure this way and saved herself a lot of trouble by getting her own place before making her final move. She deserved to be free from them.